I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. I got them tired of shit. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this is going to be a special video. I just recently came to realize that the reason I started uploading was to make guides tier list and everything. To help the players in however way that I can. So today, I have decided to help the players figure out which companions to focus on and get. Especially now that we have so many champions and companions in the game. Before I mention about the top 5 and the reasons for putting them in the ranks, I want to have an honorable mention for this companion. The companion is the Ignis companion. Female Ignis is one of the best, if not the best, mage in Bloodline. And the Pyromancer trait is one of the best traits to get, especially for those who still are planning to run a nuke mage team. All that being said, the reason she did not make it in my top 5 is because of Divala. Not only did the female Divala champion knock the female Ignis out of the S tier, but the female Divala being so strong has resulted in having a lot of players have the trait hexproof on their champions to somewhat counter the female Divala. Anyways, let's get to the discussion about who are the top 5 companions that you should definitely get. The companion of the Fulgur clan comes at spot number 5. It's because not only are both genders of this champion really good, but the male Falgar is the highest contributor for the red districts. As in, he has the highest base leadership of the red as in the trade districts, while the female Falgar has the third highest leadership for it. Although everyone is most likely going to use the male Falgars, but I'm just sharing this information about female Falgar for those who needed to know. Oh, and their clan trait may not be a must-have clan trait for every champion, but it's still a must-have clan trait that everyone's team should have. In rank number 4, I'm going to put the Tidestorm Companion. Because, let us be honest, everyone knows that the male Tidestorm is the best marksman in the game. But something that many people don't realize is that the female Tidestorm is also a really good champion. She is a beast in boss fights and she has one of the highest base production leadership. So for the blue districts, she only comes second to the Doombringer male. And as for their clan trait, aggressive, it isn't that bad to have on your champions if you want some extra damage. Now that that's done, we move on to the top 3. The third best companion is Lionstone. Many of you might be agitated to see Lionstone in top 3, but hear me out. Not only does Lionstone have two really great champions, the female Lionstone is a must-have and an S-tier champion because of her ultimate, and the male Lionstone isn't that bad either, because all of his skills just screams tank. But the main reason for which the Lionstone companion made it to the top 3 is because of their clan trait Ambitious which happens to be one of the top 3 clan traits in battles, such as arena, campaigns and events. In arena, it's the best trait to have without an inch of doubt, while in campaigns and events, it's one of the top 2 interchangeable clan traits to have on your champions. With that, I present to you the companion of the Yiv clan. The reason Yivnyan clan made it to show high up in the list is because of their clan trait, which I will discuss in a bit. But before I talk about it, let me just mention that the male champion is currently the second best assassin in the game. I did not get to test out the new Harul clan, so the ranking might change for the male Yiv later. The male Yiv has the second highest base leadership for the red districts. Now let's get back to the topic of the clan trait. Focused is one of the best, if not the best, clan trait in the entire game. End of discussion. The time has finally come to reveal the best companion, which is most likely a lot of players first mythic companion. I've got some plans the reason she is number one is because for one, agile is one of the best clan traits, chilling side by side with ambitious and focused. The female Trevain is also decent and the male Trevain has the third best leadership for the entertainment districts. 
it's the yellow districts for those who do not know that. And let us not forget that Travain is a one star companion, which means you can make free babies every 12 hours as long as you have a slot open. And she doesn't need that many intimacy points compared to the other companions in this video, which means she is much easier to mythic as well as it's easy to make level 22 traits out of her. So let us review the reasons once again for why Travain is number one. One, she has one of the best clan traits. Two, she is a one star companion which allows you to make babies with her for free once every 12 hours. 3. Being a 1 star allows her to be the best companion to mythic before any other companions. 4. It is easier to farm level 22 traits with her compared to any of the other companions in this video. That's all for the video. If you disagree with anything I said in this video, feel free to comment your opinions below. But if you agree with my placements of the heroes or if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, as well as commenting. Thanks once again for your time if you made it this far. I wish all of you a great holiday as well as good luck in summoning for the new champions. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye bye.